Hello everyone. I just want to do a quick follow-up video on this Tesla low voltage lithium battery. Um, I've gotten some disturbing news since I posted that, that a lot of people are definitely opening these up and charging. First, let me uh, replay this video here. Um, this is from someone recharging one of these exact batteries. So he, he wasn't doing anything normal, just recharging. So this luckily didn't burn his shop down, but imagine if this was under the hood of your car. And when you recharge, when you recharge um, a, a lithium battery that's died, you get these dendrites that grow through the separator. So after a certain cell voltage, usually, you know, I recommend around two volts. If the cell voltage goes below that, you don't ever want to recharge them because these dendrites can pierce the separator and short the battery out. It's basically like shorting the negative and positive terminals. This is the cathode and anode and the dendrites bridge through there. They're metal growths that occur once the battery is taken to below a certain level of charge. So you just never ever want to use a battery if you've recharged it once it drops below this level. That's why we have battery management systems. To, to be clear, I, I got this picture. This is from the, that battery. Um, this is all that survived. Uh, the rest of the battery exploded and threw the board clear. Note that the temperatures were high enough to unsolder these MOSFETs here uh, and the battery from the board. And look at the connector, it's melted. To, to be clear, uh, this is what it looks like before a fire. And I got this video which shows this guy first using fire to open the battery, which, you know, not always a good idea, but that isn't the worst of it. He's going in here and showing people how to bypass the BMS and charge the battery. You, you do not want to do that. You know, you'll end up like this, you know, or, or this. <laughs> so please, please, it's $200. I know it, it's terrible because these batteries shouldn't be dying this way. Once the BMS cuts out at a low voltage, they it shouldn't run itself down, but it does. And so they self-destruct. Uh, I don't know if that was on purpose or accident. I, you know, I don't think there's a conspiracy theory. CATL made the battery, not Tesla. But if you are working on salvage cars and you get a car with a dead battery, um, disconnect it, take it out of the car, and don't put get a new one, and don't put it in the car until you have the contactors closing. Once the contactors close, then, then and only then is it safe to plug in the new battery. And then everything should be good. If you connect the battery before then, it'll run it down and you'll get into the situation where you'll have to buy another $200 battery. And I know it's difficult if, if some of you are repairing cars in countries where you don't have good access to Tesla parts. Get someone from the U.S. to mail you one or something. Um, you, don't, you don't want this happening. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Take care, everyone.